one of the x-rays that we like to obtain in evaluating people with anterior glenohumeral humeral instability is the AP in the plane of the scapula, where the beam is placed, uh, the beam is shot right down the uh, glenohumeral humeral joint, as is shown here. And what we're looking for is any defects of the bony structure uh, on the front or bottom of the glenohumeral joint. Another x-ray that we like to take is the axillary view, where the beam goes up the patient's axilla, again passing through the glenohumeral joint. This view enables us to see if there's any defect of the glenoid anteriorly or of the humeral head posteriorly. If there's any question about a severe bony loss, we will obtain a CT scan. And here's an example of a CT scan showing a large bony defect posteriorly in the head of the humerus and a large bony defect anteriorly off the glenoid. Only when these defects are really large will they change the surgical approach.